Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. We are proud to let you know that the National Wrestling Hall of Fame has announced that Dayton Fix of Sand Springs, Oklahoma, has been chosen as the 2017 recipient of the Dave Schultz High School Excellence Award. He joins us now from his high school, and I tell you what, I'm just super, super happy that the folks at Charles Page High said, sure, Dayton can step out of class and do an interview. He joins us now. Dayton, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, man. I get to talk to a four-time Oklahoma, Oklahoma High School state champ with a 168-0 record, and I'll tell you, that has been a career in and of itself, but you come off an exciting weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada, where you had an outstanding performance with the UWWs there. How did you make 55 kilos before we get into it? Um, I mean, it was a, it's a decent cut. I usually I walk around at 135, 138, so... It, uh, it was probably tougher just because uh, I haven't made the weight in eight months. So whenever I, I get back down there for the for the trials, it'll be a lot easier. So winning the the uh, Dave Schultz High School Excellence Award uh, is, is something most people don't expect, but it happens for a life well lived. Uh, you're the son of Derek and Stacy. I'm sure they're pretty pretty pumped. <laughs> Uh, about uh, this particular accomplishment, what was your response when told that you were the winner? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a, I mean, I wasn't the, I mean, it was just a, it's really a, you can't really describe the feeling because there's, I look back on the people that have won the award and there's just so many, there's people that I've looked up to throughout my career and it's just a, an award that not very many people can say that they won. So it's really, I'm really grateful that I got chosen for the award. You know, third generation wrestler, but here's here's one of the sticking points for me on this award. Do you realize there's only been one other winner, a national winner from Oklahoma, and that's Tion Ware. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty amazing. There's, there's other guys of, didn't win it. Guys like Kale Sanderson never won it, but Dayton yeah. Fix has. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's really amazing. All right, so you've got your third UWW Junior Nationals title. Doing that over the weekend. Nice job. Uh, USA Wrestling Triple Crown in 2013. A youth Olympic Silver Medalist in 2014. Cadet World Bronze Medalist in 2015. Junior World Bronze in 2016. A two-time Pan American Champ in Freestyle and Greco. If you could wrestle both while in college, would you? Um, wrestle both college For, and freestyle? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would definitely. I mean, I love freestyle. That's my, that's my favorite favorite style. I enjoy wrestling it the most. You could, if I, if you, I could wrestle both, I definitely would. You've committed to John Smith and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. You are a legacy wrestler. That means your father wrestled there as well. Was it a tough pick for you? Um, I I just wanted to make sure that the school that I chose was where I needed to be. So I I mean, I took all my visits and I, I listened to all the other coaches and. At the end of the day, that's just the place where I felt most comfortable, and that's where I felt like I needed to be. What were some of the other schools that you were considering? Uh, so I took visits to Penn State, Ohio State, uh, North Carolina, and Oklahoma State. Those are all the schools that I visited. What are those phone calls like when you uh, decide not to go to a school? They've extended their their hospitality to you and showed you around and invited you to become a part of their programs. What are those phone calls like? Yeah, those, I mean, those are some of the hardest phone calls that I, I've ever had to make. And, I mean, because you really get to know the coaching the coaching staff and the guys on the team. And you, I mean, you have to tell them that you decided to go somewhere else. So, I mean, it's a really tough phone call. But most of them are they're really understanding and they, they respect my decision. So that, that's pretty cool of them. Yeah, most of them, I, w I would imagine, are pretty cool guys anyway because you wouldn't really have probably even considered them if they weren't, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. You're historically uh, gifted uh, because you have uh, your grandfather, David Fix, wrestled at Colorado State Teachers, now Northern Colorado, and coached at Eaton High. And your maternal grandfather, Alan Karstetter Sr., wrestled at Brigham Young University and coached at Charles Page High for 24 years. And then, of course, there's your dad, who was a pretty, pretty decent wrestler for the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Glenn Lanham told me that, the head coach at Duke. He said, oh, oh, Derek? Yeah, he was pretty good. So... Thinking about all that, what kind of inspiration did you know your grandparents and and uh, and your father provide to you growing up? Yeah, so I mean they they never really pushed me to 
to wrestle. They really waited on waited on me to come to them and tell them that I was I was ready to wrestle. So I mean, they I, the when the time came that I wanted to wrestle, they they were all for it and they they helped me in every way they could. I've been able to watch you compete, but what I didn't know about you is that you were also a letterman in cross country, athlete of the year in football. What position did you play in football? And don't tell me linebacker. <laughs> no, I played uh, running back, and I was a defensive back. Defensive back as well. And yeah. uh, football, obviously, it's fun to play. Great uh, team activity. Oh, yeah. But, uh, man, I tell you what, I don't know if it's as rough as, as wrestling. I watched you wrestle within a foot or two of me in St. Louis at the Border Brawl. And you brought out your toolkit. You just went to work, and you left your mark on your opponent. Uh, you go all out for the entirety of that match. You don't slow down, do you? Oh, no. I mean, I, I don't try to. I, I try to go out there and just dominate whoever I'm wrestling and score as many points as possible. It's almost as if you're wound up like a spring. Does that describe you before a match? Uh, maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty calm before the match, but once the, once the match gets going, I, I, I just let it fly. I did the introductions for those matches. And, dude, you came right out and stood within, oh, I don't know, four or five inches of me. And then my job was to introduce your opponent. You went down into a crouch. And then while I'm introducing your, your opponent, you blast off the mat. And I don't know what your vertical leap is, but I swear to God you hit seven feet on that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right so perhaps it comes from cross country perhaps it comes from football but you have explosive strength in in uh, your ability to blast and i love it is there a particular move that that uh, you call your own because you're just good at it um uh a lot of people know me for uh, i hit an inside trip so a lot of people they, they watch me, and they know that I, I have a pretty good inside trip. Inside trip, and that's hard to defend. Uh, read Across America is a passion for you. Why? Um, well, I mean, I just love love reading to the younger kids, and I I have a lot of – I have younger siblings, so, I mean, I really I connect connect well with, with younger kids, and I, I just feel like they're at an age where you can really make an impact on their lives. Dayton, uh, to be a good student is one thing, but to be a good student who can also tutor or teach is something completely different. Uh, you find uh, tutoring and, and teaching others that which you know uh, an easy, easy uh, vocation? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's easy. It's, I mean, it's difficult at times, but if, uh, if, you, if you can get anything out of, out of the, the person you're trying to teach or help, then if they get anything out of it, then I mean, you're, you're doing your job. You were student of the month three times and named one of the, now get this, folks, top 10 people of the year to watch by the Tulsa world in calendar year 27. Now, I don't know what that means. It's like man of the year, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sort of, I guess. <laughs> so your intention to wrestle for Oklahoma State, I think I may have even told you, I said, if you think you're good now, wait till John Smith gets his hands on you. Yeah. And, dude, you've got to be really excited about this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm really excited to be up there with with John and the coaching staff, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. They're gonna they're gonna do what, just what they always do with everybody, and I'm gonna just soak it all in. Crank them up, crank. What do you what What are your uh, studies? Where will your studies uh, point you? What kind of a degree? Um, I haven't completely decided. I've I look at some different options, but I think I'm just gonna start just start taking classes the first the first year that I'll decide after that so you've got some general interest now but see what really you know peaks you yeah. were selected uh as the central region winner of the dave schultz this year and then were chosen as the national over the other regional winners they included brady burge of uh, uh, manorville minnesota he was in the midwest region john borst of stephen city virginia the southeast region spencer lee of murraysville pennsylvania the northeast region and hayden uh, maley of roseburg Oregon, the West region. So you're in pretty decent company, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. There's just some, some tough, real tough guys. How far away is the National Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum from your house? Uh, probably about an hour. Not an that, hour exactly, probably. So. Not that far. Okay. Are you prepared to get dressed up and attend the 41st Annual Honors Weekend at the Hall of Fame, June 2nd and 3rd? Oh, yeah. I'm, real, I'm, I'm ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Have you heard about the speeches that have been given in years uh, years prior by the recipients of the Dave Schultz? I uh, know I haven't heard about it, but if uh, if I need to make a speech, I I can come up with something. Oh yeah, I think I would if I were you. There's a lot of guys on that list. I remember the speech given by uh, uh, Logan Steber. The one given by David Taylor was off the hook. Zach Sanders in years past. Troy Nickerson, David Craig, Coleman Scott. Uh, Steve Mako. I mean, this is an opportunity to recognize everybody in your life. I'm going to give you that opportunity right now. Who would you like to thank for the career you've had up to this point? Um, I mean, first of all, I'm going to want to thank God because without him, I, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. But I, I want to thank my parents for they they raised me, raised me the right way. And they do any, everything in their power to make sure that I've had the opportunities to to succeed. And I I, mean, I want to thank my my family, like all my family and my friends, my every all the coaching, all the coaching that I've ever received from anybody. I try to take take anything from if anybody wants to show me something or any way that I can learn. I want to I want to soak it all in. So I mean, I just want to thank thank them, thank my workout partners because without them, my I, mean, I wouldn't have anybody to wrestle with. So I mean, there's just a whole lot of people. I want to thank my community for just always supporting me and. I mean, there's, I can go on and on. Really. You're one of the nicest guys I know. I guess tell you, you are, you are absolutely a joy, and that's why I'm going to tell you, thank you for being a part of this sport. What a, uh, what an important part of the sport you've become, and I can't wait to see what's next for you. Congratulations on the uh, on the Dave Schultz High School Excellence Award of 2017. You're going to be joining Sierra Foster of Post Falls, Idaho, as she is uh, receiving the Trisha Saunders High School Excellence Award. Well done, Dayton. Well done, indeed. Thank you.